hope you guys all had a good Christmas. Hey, first time. And then we can tick engines off. This is a pot where you don't save money and you put good quality marine grease. So welcome to a new year with Sailing Lady Africa. The last two years have been a shitload of work. And the next year is going to be a more shitload of work. It's just how it is. It's boat <laughs> building and sailing and all that other goodness that comes with it. But we want to say thanks for everyone that, that's been following and sending great messages, patrons, friends, everything else. It's been awesome. I wish we had a little bit of a break, although we took a break from YouTube. We didn't take a break. Pretty much there. worked right through December, Christmas and we at least had New Year's Day off and we're just trying to get the boat as ready as possible so that when we launch the boat is pretty much completely done other than sea trials and ironing out those small things yeah so we have not launched the boat yet yeah um, we wanted to numerous occasions mm -hmm. but unfortunately the crane operators have been super busy obviously we're not very high up on the priority list on the priority list goes according to fees so if you want a really good price for a crane you kind of have to get them when they are busy and, and it's the only crane company we trust yeah because they pull us out and they've hauled a whole bunch of boats yeah so we trust them we know that their work is good and the rest of the guys are firstly way more expensive like we're talking three times the price and then there's a whole bunch of insurance issues and it's a long story down the line so we're waiting for them to let us know. They have said hopefully the 7th. Yeah, but it's not like we're sitting around. I mean, in December and a lot of November, we spent working on the big old schooner that was here. I think you guys saw some photos of that. And we did a lot of upgrades on that boat. We put in some massive blue Nova batteries in there. We put huge inverters, huge chargers, two water makers. Our water maker sold, we sold it to them. So, Probably a little on the downside, but we got a water maker. We made a little deal. We'll put that up in one of the episodes coming. And yeah, so they they off on their journey, and everything seems to be going okay so far. So yeah, we're back to finishing up the last few things that we need done on our boat, which and seems never ending. Yeah, but we <laughs> a few things we have to do before we go into the water, which is mm -hmm. completed now. Now it's just getting our um, what do you call it? Our slip secure securely foamed up what's the oh oh yeah so yeah where that, we're gonna go into so that we I'm don't worrying. have any more um, things and stuff on the boat of yeah. the brand trying to protect you because pe's weather is insane and rips cleats out so we're gonna make sure we are cushioned up there get our lines ready fenders inflated mm -hmm. engines are running smoothly as you will see in this episode so we got a bunch of little cosmetic stuff also that we need to do Which get our stack pack finished put our new sailing gear up mm -hmm. but we are hoping to be done with it soonish and then we can hit hit the road hit the ocean yeah we're looking forward to that hopefully by the end of january we'll have some sails up and we'll be sailing that's the plan. We would like to leave the end of Jan, um, which lines us up fairly, fairly okay-ish for weather windows. Don't stress about something you can't control. Yeah. Cool. Have a cracking week, guys. We'll check you next week with great progress and enjoy. Enjoy it. So at the moment, we're still busy working on the other boat and uh, We've put in a lot, a lot of time into this boat, but not only that, last week our car, or two weeks ago, our car got bumped, it's a rental, and we had to pay that money, and then my wallet got stolen shortly after that, so it, it's been wild, we've been working long hours, but we're getting there. There's some good signs at the end. Let me show you quickly what the, what's the setup that we're installing here. So that's how the system looks like at the moment, and all of this is new. From here, right through, two new boxes, uh, also breakers, DVs, all the new Victron equipment that's in there. There's a heap load of stuff going on. We still need to tidy everything up and all of that. But we're at the stage of programming each of the units for the parameters for the batteries. And once all of that is done, then we'll go online and then neaten everything up afterwards. So yeah, just an update and let's get back to our boat build and start those engines. It's the 25th. 26th. 26 it's boxing day today 
and yesterday we managed on Christmas Day we managed to finish the big boat where we did all the batteries, the water maker, inverters, chargers, massive alternators on the on the engine, and those guys are off down to Namibia at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're back onto our boat with our project. We there's a couple of things on the engine that we need to tweak or that I want to tweak. We need to do engines and oh yeah, the hydraulic steering. Um, we're just going to go over everything there, make sure that everything's fine. Autopilot's running perfect because we want to launch. So we want to make sure that all of that's running. It's much easier to do it out of the water than and to do it in the water. Change anodes. So there's a couple of things. So let's take you guys through that. I hope you guys all had a good Christmas and some good rest. So our engines are done. Um, all we got to do is tidy up all the cables over here and then we're pretty much good to go and then we'll put the sound insulation and everything on when we are in the water so that we can test out the engines and see where we want to put the sound insulation exactly okay, so all the cables have been neatened up and now Ricky's going to start the engine Been waiting for this moment for a while. I hope it works. We're only going to start it for a couple of seconds. Yeah, just yeah, to see if everything's connected. It is a little dry, so shouldn't do it. That's good. Glow plugs on. Hey, first time. Hey, man! That's a good sign. <laughs> hey! Next engine. We then connected our engine compartment bulge pumps. So we're just connecting up our bulge pumps there by our engines and then we can tick engines off. We're just cleaning it off. Yeah, inside there nicely. I want to fill that There's quite a good amount of grease in there Right there, that's part of the That's aluminium from the housing So if I clean that up nicely and grease it up It should be good So this is the part where you don't save money And you put good quality marine grease We've got, the, we've got the prop on, everything is freaking well lubed. Put some mild Loctite on there. And this is for the nose cone kit. I think this must be a new style because the old ones didn't work like this. So we screw this all the way in until it bottoms out. So we tighten it up with this one with locking nuts. Locked up nicely now, and now that that's locked up, we can loosen this one. The port side's prop had been installed, so it was off to do the starboard side. Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves. 
YouTubers have put on our new anodes. We were younger, we used to sit on the grass. So everyone was wondering what these things are. It's inspection hatches for our riders. So you open them, you can work on the rider inside here. This is a false compartment or crash compartment, whatever you want to call it. Our actual aft cabin starts about here. Open this up. We Vaseline these tight now and they're pretty tightly secured. Inside here is the rudder post and uh, you can fill on the rudder from there. Then we got started on drilling the hole for our deck wash fitting. Now we just need to do the plumbing connections. And we got down to installing our saloon fans. When we got older, we try to stay in touch. But we had to move on. Life ran away from us. If I could go back, be 17 again, yeah, I would. To see all my friends running around the city acting crazy like we used to do. Ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I wish I could turn back time. Oh, ooh, ooh. So our fans have been installed. There's one on the corner there and one over there. I'm pretty excited now because I don't have to. Switch them on. There we go. So it's pretty cool. I dig it. Switch it off. So no more hot days on here for now, at least. So by the way, if anyone's in South Africa and you guys are building a yacht or a boat or a power boat or a lake boat or anything like that, and you want to get hold of a diesel inboard engine, we've got a brand new one available. It's actually our one that we were going to put in initially with the leg and everything, drop us a mail, we'll pretty much let it go for a really good price and just to try and recover some of the money that we put into it. I know that we're gonna take a loss, but that's fine. If it helps someone else, we'll be good. So drop us a mail, svladyafrica at gmail.com. We'll leave a le link in the description below. Where we can send you all the information. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you next week. Adios amigos.